Okay, so now what we are going to do is to prepare your still images. Uh, and uh, now these are all the renders that um, was done during the break. Okay, um, I'm going to pick some of the numbers here, like for example, dagger 01. <clears throat> so this is the front view. I'm going to look for my three quarter view. So maybe um, I can just go to my Maya, or in this case, my Maya is closed. So I have to randomly pick. So maybe 25 is not enough. I have to search further down, 50. Okay, maybe too much. Maybe 42. Okay, slightly better. Okay, and uh, maybe I'll just use these two. Okay, and I'm going to make use of these two uh, and then I'll prepare my still image portfolio. So, very simple, how you're going to do it is go to your channel, control click on the alpha, go back to your layer, <coughs> control J, you will duplicate out only the weapon itself. Background, I'm going to change it to another color. For now, I'll just pick a gray and fill it up. I can adjust the background later on, don't worry. Okay, but for now, I just want to have the weapon. Okay, I go back to the new, um, I mean, uh, Dagger 42. I'm going to bring this over to my front view. Okay, Dagger 01. Go to channel, control click on the alpha, go back to my layer, select the move tool, press V, shift, drag over, Okay, you have both in the same document. Okay, <coughs> I'm not going to move them away to uh, aside first. They are both on top of one another. I'm going to close this. I don't need this for now. And then I'm going to bring in my grayscale and wireframe. Okay, grayscale 01 and grayscale 42. Wireframe 01 and wireframe 42. Okay, drag over to Photoshop. Drag it by the side of this document. <coughs> You'll open up everything for me. Okay, drag this document out so that I will not be confused. So over here, alpha click, shift drag. Okay, same thing here, alpha click, shift drag. Okay, alpha click, shift drag. Okay, I'm going to drag all these images uh, over to that one Photoshop document. You can see all the layers over here already. Oh wait, how come the... Okay, give me a second, I must bring in the correct one. Okay, let me bring in 25 instead. Okay, uh, all the three quarter view is a bit different, uh, so I need to delete them. <coughs> Okay, my front view is correct, my three quarter view is wrong, so I repeat the three quarter view, drag over, shift 
shift drag shift drag okay so now my layer are all correct ready mm. okay I'm going to categorize them my wireframe <coughs> my diffuse and my grayscale okay if you look carefully here these are the same these are the grayscale this is the diffuse and this is the wire okay you can color them so that you won't get mixed up okay once you have done that okay I'm going to select all my front view okay I select all my front view and I move it to the left I select all my three-quarter view and I move it to the right my diffuse layer is at the bottom my wire frame is at the top merge them together Control E Control E invert and multiply your wire frame Okay, I'm going to just centralize them <coughs> background color I can now make use of any gradient tool that I want shift control n multiply Okay, create a text document. Hmm. Shortcut not working. Okay. Change the color to black. This one you can just call it dagger. Make the word bigger. Okay, duplicate the layer can call your name over at the other side your email Okay, so you have one that is your beauty render, one grayscale, and one wireframe. Okay, save them out into your JPEG. IC number underscore name underscore weapon underscore this is beauty so call it beauty make sure you use chof which is the highest for jpeg save it go under your grayscale turn off your beauty do the same thing this time round call it grayscale Okay, I'll just call it grey will do <coughs> and then the last one is your wireframe okay so these are the things that you need to have your photoshop file okay your your images uh, and the video file so if I go back to the folder here
Okay, this is all my render. Okay, the weapon in beauty render, the grayscale, and the wireframe. Okay, that's it.